Hello everyone, uh, today I will show you how to, uh, well, how to get my add-on running with uh, Blender 2.8 beta. I've already downloaded the beta. Uh, if we go into my downloads folder, bring it here for you, you get this uh, zip file which is currently invisible, not sure quite why, um, but once you open it, uh, with probably that since it has worked with Windows for ages. Um, yeah, you, you get the Blender folder, drag the folder off to the desktop, I've already done so right here. Double click that and you can just run Blender. So this is Blender 2.8. Uh, you can come here and get the little bone breaker version 2.8 for Blender and uh, once you have downloaded that this time it's just a zip file so it's going to be straight up into your downloads just like that uh, you can copy the path of your downloads come into here figure out where the preferences are go into your add-ons and install file and you should be able to find your uh, way around maybe documents let's see one folder up uh, downloads Phone breaker 2.8 install from file and there you go enabled and good to go remember if it's a new install like this one you gotta run rigify along with it make sure that's on good um, as always I like to save my preferences this version of blender does it on its own I think it's down here uh, yeah let's save current state and do it manually but so if I restart this just for completeness sake so we're at there back to the blender folder um, run it there and this should do everything for us now the panel will appear on this side of the screen which is available when you click in and there it is the plugin is running Moving on, we'll select everything, get rid of it from the stage, and import uh, the files that we were working with earlier, actually, because that I think that's on my desktop still. I'm not even sure. I might not have a mannequin to import. There you go. Mm -hmm. So import that. It will scale everything and do everything as before. You have your little UE4 mannequin. Um, click do it all it will rig it for you things work a little differently in this version of blender so this may or may not work sometimes it's kind of iffy until they release a final version then we will obviously fine-tune our add-on there it is that's the rigify rig uh, and once I click on it Oh, right, well, we don't have animations to work with right now. Okay, but uh, just to double check, if we go into edit mode, which uh, in this one is Shift-Tab to get to. <coughs> there you go, moving and stretching so that everything seems to work fine. As always, the face is there. You might want to disable it. And if you want to do that here, it's probably going to be under here, and there it is. On that. Okay, so that's it for this. Let's quit out of there. Discard the changes. Let's open up the Unreal project and extract something to work with. <coughs> Might take a bit. Let me also just send to desktop on this. There you go. And as soon as we have a project running, we'll be able to extract an animation and try to play with it. Um, so yeah, just load the project. The uh, Blender 2.8 has really been something. It's uh, been in development for quite a while. And uh, does a lot of things differently within the plugin. 
mostly about layer selection as you probably have noticed if you try to play around with it alright so here we have our animations we're gonna just grab uh, let's let's make the prone idle let's see if I can quickly animate a foot on that um, so asset export desktop save it make sure that's checked export minimize that open the shortcut to the new version of blender select everything delete it and to open that <coughs> tool shelf and uh, import the FBX this time from the desktop it's going to be prone idle good import that I've never tried it on this animation stance. This is going to be interesting. All right, so off the bat, I can tell that uh, the IKs are way off in terms of animation. You can actually loop through it. Uh, it's quite a lengthy animation. This might take a while, but anyway, uh, let's start by doing it all with the rigging. why that parses I'm going to for the next step bring up the window on the other screen so that I can monitor what is happening in the background you can literally just you know we programmers this is rigify like to put little messages to ourselves that tell us what's going on uh, let's click on do it all and see if that even works everything seems to be running smoothly now it's baking the animations and there it goes and that's it it baked our positions into the animation so we can go and modify it so the timeline and the dope sheet on this version of Blender work a little differently. I've also noticed that uh, within this uh, you have a root parent follow that has been disabled. It used to be I think at 0.5 or something like that. Obviously not it. The lesser it is the less it follows the parent. But the point is that uh, we're going to animate the foot, so let's focus on that for a second. We're going to be in frame zero. I'm going to clear all of the selected frames for this foot. And you know what? I want to do that for the whole area, actually. Minus the hip and the root. So shift right click, uh, shift left click rather, shift left click on that too. Just do that and then just manually select this one and this one. Alright, and then clear all for that as well. And that should be uh, basically stuck in place if we move forward. Um, I need to open up a dope sheet to see what's going on with that. But if I click on here and I click insert uh, keyframe for location, rotation, and scale, or I can just quickly click that too. Um, and then I go a couple of frames afterwards, let's say frame 20, move it up. Um, let's turn the recording on so it just records what I do and rotate this one because your tie comes uh, okay doesn't want to cooperate uh, okay so when it does that I find it best to just go and uh, switch to the pole and then move the pole which also wants a clear all and then you can move the pole up so that it looks like a knee sliding on the floor and somewhere around there with the invisible floor it's going
going to be rough, <laughs> but you get the point. Uh, this frame right here, adjust it a little. Okay, let's see if that worked in terms of, there you go, animating, <coughs> moving into place. And then by the end of the animation, we're going to want to go back to how it's supposed to be. So let us quickly see where the end of the animation is. Uh, okay, that's a little better with the dots over there. So this is the end spot, 214. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the pose here for those bones. Uh, just select them all like that. Scroll down to this one and scroll down to this one rather um, copy the pose, control C scroll down to this one, paste the pose and that should actually just loop through time up down it's a silly animation but to test things out I think you know it's plenty of work alright so we're gonna deselect everything or well, actually, that doesn't even, shouldn't even matter. And we're going to click all key all frames, um, which is already done. This version of Blender is blazing fast at some things. And we're going to export the FBX back to the desktop. Uh, we'll call this Chicken Foot. We'll export the FXB, FBX. Um, there you go. And we will import back in here <coughs> chicken foot as always just select the urikin the mannequin from the pack it came from this is from the anim started pack uh, you know what i can actually, i can actually select the other one just to check i don't think it's gonna go crazy on me in fact there it is Alright, well, it moves. It looks very unnatural and all. It takes forever to move into place. I mean, the whole animation looks unnatural, but <laughs> that's the point. It worked. Everything is fine. Alright.